right guys, so the next step in the evolution of the car is to rip the core support apart and get it all cleaned up. As you can see, she's pretty nasty. She's rusty. So this is, you know, pretty bad here. Obviously this is bad here. So we'll see what we can do to rip this whole thing apart. This piece seems to be in really good shape. Um, but uh, I need to spray this all down real good um, with some penetrating oil. You know, you can see I've kind of done some already. I don't think the this air conditioning condenser is any good. You know, she's got some pretty good damage here. You know, some of the, it looks like this tube here. I don't know if the tube is damaged there, but uh, it's damaged here. So, you know, we're gonna rip this whole thing apart, strip it clean, get it painted and mount it up. And then we'll go to the wheel houses and then we'll go to the fenders and get all those put on so we can start to see how the car is gonna turn out. Um, the doors are right here. They're actually in really good shape. I need to strip all the paint off of them, you know, and we'll, we can put the doors on. Uh, so that's kind of the next steps of the evolution. So let's go ahead and do some, some repairs here and see what we got to work with. guys got the core support all torn apart but if you'll notice right here it was hit so this car either hit something or got hit in the front end because it's supposed to look like this nice and smooth you know no crack here no big crease so yeah so this took a hit at some point. So I think there's about, looks like four spot welds here. Looks like a couple over here. I'm sure a couple over here. That way I can probably a few more somewhere, I don't know. And this looks like this is a separate brace here to here. So maybe a spot weld or two here. Yeah, we'll have to take this apart so we can straighten this and fix it and then weld it back up. So I was not expecting to do this. I was trying to figure out, you know, first off, just how I was gonna get this, all the paint off so we could prime it and paint it, you know, and bolt it in place so then we could go to the inner fenders. But now we gotta repair the damage to the core support. All right, guys, so we got the upper portion separated from the lower portion. Just to give you an idea, here's how many spot welds. There's five here, there was four here, there's four here, and then there was two more on the back side. Basically the same thing both sides. But what's interesting is, you know, I'll show you in a minute, right, the damage down there. But this lower bar, there's nothing wrong with it. Now, when you physically look at it, it's not tweaked. You know, this is not bent all up. You know, it looks the exact same as this side. So I took a few measurements and it all looks good. I mean, there's a little bit of, you know, shape there. But other than that, you know, this piece here is solid. So we can just go ahead and clean this all up. There was a lot of rust, you know, in between these two pieces. And you can see here all the rust in between these pieces. So... You know, we'll clean all this up real good, hit this with some weld through primer in those areas to help provide more corrosion protection. Get all that cleaned up and before we weld it back on. Now, let me take this piece, get out of the way, and we'll pull this piece, set it up here so I can kind of show you the damage to it a little better. 
All right, guys, so here's the upper piece. And you can see again that kink I was showed earlier. And down here is the tear. You can see there's the wrinkle here, you know, where this panel basically took uh, absorbed an impact of some sort. So if you look at this side, you'll notice, right, it's pretty much nice and flat through here. You know, I gotta do a little hammer dolly work where I basically pried this up. So I gotta knock this down a little bit in this area. Um, so we need to basically straighten this piece out a little bit more and then take this wrinkle out here, take the wrinkle out down here and then weld that back up and grind it a little bit so we can get this piece a whole lot better. So when we reattach the lower portion and weld it all back up and clamp it and weld it up real good, you know, that uh, this fits in the frame a whole lot better and, you know, we can paint this and get it all done. So the nice thing I guess about removing this lower portion is now I have access to more of this and I can get all the rust and previous paint and everything all ground down. So when we, you know, put some, you know, primer and paint on this that, uh, you know, it'll hold up better. All right, guys, so just after a few minutes with the hammer and dolly, you can see, you know, we got the big kink out of it here. We've got the kink out of it here, you know, so it's looking more like this side. You know, it's got the little slight bend here, you know, where it comes inboard. You can see there's really no kink. Again, you can see slight little inboard where it kind of comes down and comes inboard. And then, you know, we got the kink mostly worked out. You know, we'll have to uh, take a little screwdriver, pry up on this or hammer dolly just a little bit more. And then we'll weld this up and grind it down. So you'll never know we had to repair it. Um, oh, missed that. So it looks like I had to do a little hammer dolly work there yet. And, you know, now we can clean this all up and weld it back up once we uh, get all the paint removed. So now we still need to do a little repair right here. So uh, we'll sandblast this, you know, get it cleaned up and see, you know, how much uh, damage, how much we got to cut out and repair on this piece yet. Here's a simple idea for you guys. So if you want to have, like I'm grinding all the paint off of this. You know, basically I've taken my little Harbor Freight welding stand and I set it on four jack stands. It's pretty secure on here. And I have been grinding the paint off of this for quite a while. So you can see I've got a lot of it removed. You know, this thing is pretty solid on there. So I just wanted to show you guys a, a simple way you can make a higher stand um, so you can stand up more comfortably and grind away, you know, and remove all the old paint and stuff. So just wanted to give you a little short to give you an idea of something you can do to make your back love you a little bit more. All right, guys, just a quick update where we're at. So got uh, pretty much all the metal, you know, stripped of all the paint and most of the rust. Um, you know, there's some pitting here in a few spots. We'll do something there. Um, I did weld through primer um, on this lower piece where it connects to, you know, the main, I guess, body. Um, started clamping it up and I did it on this piece and this piece both. So when we weld it, you know, we'll give it some corrosion protection. So, and here's where I did the repair. You really can't even tell that, you know, there was any damage now. You know, we got it all hammered out. You can see again, it's got a pretty very similar contour now. And you can see also where I drilled out these spots. You know, I'm getting this lined back up so we can weld it. Um, and then we will be done. Um, then I need to fix this piece here. And then we can basically bolt this in the car, which it has not been in the car in 40 years. So uh, we're just going to, I'm not going to paint it right now, but we're going to get it all fixed up and at least set in place so we can move on to working the inner fenders.
right, guys, and as you can see behind me, there's the finished product. Um, she is all done, all welded back up. Um, did the phosphate coating like KBS rust blast on this to protect or at least neutralize the rust. Um, I just wiped it down with wax and grease remover, and we're going to get ready to paint it here, uh, set in black, um, tomorrow, in fact. But anyway, the purpose of this video was to just show you, um, you know, what to go through if you have to repair yours, if you have some similar damage like I did, and uh, what I went through to correct it. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Um, please feel free to comment, you know, good, bad, ugly. Um, you know, constructive feedback, please. Uh, and, you know, give it a thumbs up, you know, helps with all those YouTube algorithms and whatnot. So, uh, thank you guys and, um, very much. And, uh, we'll see you guys on a future upload because what little money I do make goes right into this project. Um, so anyway, and I don't make a whole lot, but, uh, it does help. Anyway, thank you guys and, uh, have a good day in your shop.